in which the feature presentation is a take two of my Paramount movie collections because I made a small boo-boo, but that's okay. Five movies are going to be shown, and they are Friday the 13th, part two. Sequel to the original Friday the 13th. First Monday in October. Yes. An officer and a gentleman. That's a good movie. Friday the 13th, the final chapter, and yes it is. Going back to Officer and the Gentleman, that started this year in Deborah Winger. Yep, Friday the 13th, the final chapter, which really isn't the final chapter. Why did they lie to us? I don't know, in Blue City. And before I announce the movies for the next part, I'll just go ahead and say that I used to have Friday the 13th Part 3, but that tape broke. Oh well. It doesn't matter. But I'll go ahead and announce the movies for the next part, which are going to be Beverly Hills Cop. Classic movie starring Eddie Murphy. Friday the 13th, part 6, A New Beginning. Or is it part 5? Part 5. Part 5. Part 6 is Jason Lives. I have that. Yep. Uh, Pretty in Pink. Starring Molly Ringwald. Heartburn. Not familiar with that movie. And... Crocodile Dundee. Crocodile Dundee, mate. Beer. Foster's Australian for beer. Uh, yep, there's the Paramount logo, and this is where the logo turns blue. Okay. Next movie. An Officer and a Gentleman. Very good movie. It is a very good movie. Yeah, and then the warning, the license only for non-commercial private exhibition and home screen changes colors. I especially like the song Up Where We Belong in this film. Oh, cool. Good movie. And what are your manners? All over Friday the 13th, the final chapter. I like that answer. Now on to, that's the opening we're going to watch here right now. But yeah, part five is actually a new beginning. Part six is Jason Lives, so on my part. I have Jason Lives. I actually do not. But I've seen it. Yeah, if you ask me, Friday the 13th has too many unnecessary sequels. What was the most unnecessary? Final chapter and beyond. Even part three. But oh well. Now on to Blue City, which stars, as you mentioned, Ali Sheedy and Judd Nelson, who also starred together in The Breakfast Club, made by Universal. Classic movie. Yes. A personal favorite of mine, too. Oh, wow. So yeah, all the openings of these tapes we just watched are pretty much the same, so it's nothing special. Yeah. That's okay. Maybe we'll see some um, interesting openings in the next part. See you for it. And remember to never tamper with your VHS tape that you rent at your local video store or Jason Voorhees is out to get you!